Hello, welcome to the Cloud Factory. Today I'm going to show you how to make applique and patchwork necklines. But first of all, let me explain you a little bit about the difference between both of them. An applique is an external piece of fabric attached on the top of your blouse of, or your dress in the right side of the fabric. As you can see here, in this side I have the main fabric of my dress and only in the front side I have the applique. Usually we use bias binding and you can find it already made or you can make also your own with the shape you want. Today I'm going to show you how to make this shape but you can use your imagination and make whatever you want following the same process. Now for the patchwork neckline the main thing is you have to build the full piece of your top part using fabric patches as you can see here. You can also use some patches with shapes such as flowers and other motifs to make it more interesting. For this one you have to attach lining and you can use piping or binding depending on your taste. It's completely up to you. So if you like these ideas stay with me and I will show you how to make it. neckline I got already my top pieces I got it using my basic dress patterns if you don't have it in the description box below this video you have the link to download it you will need also another fabric for your applique and bias binding take the front piece of your dress and design your neckline here for this example I am marking six inch and a half here here in the shoulder part I will keep the same measurement and I will draw this shape to make a slight heart shape neckline. If you need more ideas for necklines, check the description box below this video. And I will get something like this. Now put the fabric for your applique and then your top piece and draw the same shape, the inner shape of your neckline and also the shoulder. Here I will mark two inch Then cut the inner shape Fold it by the middle in this way And transfer the 2 inches all along With the length you want Remember you can make any shape you want using the same method. Then cut it and you will have something like this. Now we will attach bias binding in the borders, only in the external borders. For that open the bias binding, match it with the corner and pin it and we will sew uh, following the folding line here in the bias binding first we will binding this side and once you finish cut the excess unfold it and now we will apply the binding in the bottom line in the same way unfold it again cut the excess of bias binding and now apply it in the other side. It's so important that first you have to unfold the, the previous bias binding and then apply the next one in this way starting from the corner and there you have it. Facing the wrong side of your top and the right side of your applique, stitch the inner line of your neckline. Once you have it, make some cuts if you have curved shapes like me. and fold it to the right side of your top. Press it. And now we will give a stitch in all the border of our bias binding and make some decorative stitches. You can also give a stitch in the inner line of your neckline. 
And as you can see here, I fold in an angle line the corners of the applique. Also, you can combine more colors to make it more beautiful. And that's it, your applique neckline is ready. Now use your imagination and create your own. Now for the patchwork neckline, you will need pieces of different fabrics in rectangles and the top piece of your blouse in lining fabric. Mine is shorter, 15 inch, some kind of jock but you can make it as long as you want. Fold it by the middle and design your neckline. I am making a rounded shape, but you have a lot of options to choose. In the description box below this video, you have the links for that. Once you have it, keep it apart and we will work with our pieces of different fabrics. First, we have to stitch it together in this way, facing right sides. I will join the first Two rectangles then the third one also facing right sides and I will stitch here and once I have it I will stitch the final rectangle by here and then press all the seams to the same side and also press in the right side of the fabric this step is so important for patchwork now I will cut horizontal um, straps of fabric of my patchwork piece in this way I am making it just like this but if you want a measurement it's about 5 inch and cut it then I will stitch it again but I will turn it to the other side and um, alternating the pieces in this way and stitch again to build another rectangle. Once you have it, you must get something like this and press again the seams to the same side and also press in the right side of your fabric again. Now put your top lining piece on it in the direction you want Pin it and give a stitch all around except for the bottom part. Once it's done, remove the pins and cut the excess following the shape of your top piece. Make some cuts if you have curved lines like me. and turn it out and press it now your patchwork neckline is ready if you want to make it more interesting adding a beautiful detail I will show you how to make a beautiful patchwork flower you will need pieces of fabric cut it on bias Fold about one inch and press it. Do the same with other two pieces, you need three. Pin it together and we will draw a semicircle shape for our petals, like a U shape. Cut everything together. And there you have it. Now in this part I have the fold and from the other side I will fold little bit in the way I am showing you and press it. You must get something like this and do the same with uh, the other two pieces. Now we will overlap it in this way one and one alternating Pin everything together and following the borders of every petal we will draw these shapes to get a small circle like this and cut the excess of fabric. You must get something like this and then we will attach another circle in the back part 
it must be smaller and we will give a simple stitch by hand folding our petals to the back part covering the uh, circle of fabric in this way once you finish don't make a knot or anything just cut the thread and now I cut uh, two leaves in another fabric and I will make a simple hem by hand with simple stitch in this way do the same with the other leaf decide how you want it pin it and give a stitch all around the shape first I am attaching the leaves and then on it I will attach the flower now remove the thread and that's it here I use a patchwork quilting stitch uh, it's beautiful and it's perfect for this kind of works because it looks like made by hand but if you don't have it in your machine you can also use a normal zigzag stitch and will also look beautiful I really hope you like this video if it's like that please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos read the description box below because there you have more information thank you for watching and happy stitches for everyone